to Bantayan Island after one quick brief stay over in Cebu. So this takes us to Hagnaya Port and we'll take a ferry over to the island. This is the best I can do from the window of the bus. Public Transpo, the Philippines. Okay, here's our vessel right here, baby. Agnaya Port. So we're gonna get on this baby right here. This is how we do it here in the Philippines, baby. How you doing? Morning, sir. Hello. Hello. Okay, we're on the ferry here, Port of Hagnaya, heading over to Bentayan Island. This is the little bunk area on the boat. So we just arrived at SF Cantina on Bantayan Island. I have to say this is my favorite beach so far. As far as beaches go, in the Philippines, right here. Look at that beach. So nice, warm and sunny.
Okay, so here we are at the SF Cantina. We just got here on Van Tien Island about an hour ago. So this is the room we're staying in right here. It's just a little bungalow, very comfortable. Got air conditioning, Wi-Fi in the room, a little TV. So they're just little bungalows on the beach here. And we'll just walk out to the water here. And there's a nice bar on the beach. We get all of our food and the nice hostesses. And you walk out here to this beautiful beach. Look at this. I think this is probably my favorite spot in all of the Philippines right here. If you're looking for the beach. And the same lady running the place Hello. from 20 <laughs> years ago. No, four years ago. Well, this is the famous ruins on Bantayan Island. I don't know about you, but I think I like the beach and the cliffs and the ocean a little better than the, the ruins. The last time I was here, I brought my snorkeling mask, went swimming down here, and I think I'll do that later on today. It is a pretty cool view. Look at that. So nice. There it is, the famous ruins. Here's another one from my buddy Dale. That's the infrastructure, man. The water line, they just roll it right out on top of the ground. All the way down. Then the cars and the jeepneys drive over it and put holes in it. Oh yeah. Well, this is a little public beach area where mostly all commercial fishermen bring their boats, they moor, they hang out. You can see a guy over there mending his nets and over here we got some guys fixing their bunk a boat or pump boat fish boat So 
I'm sure there's a way you can pay some money and keep your boat on this beach. Problem is getting it out at high and low tide. These guys all have a bunch of buddies. It takes six guys. They lift them up and they drag them down the beach and go fishing. There it is. Little public fishing beach right here on Bantayan Island. There you go. Let's get a little bit back in here. Get your fingers out of the front. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here we are cruising around in the back country, kind of. This is the way a lot of people get to their homes. They don't have paved roads, so they have these little, all these dirt trails out here. Go to their houses. There's some houses back there. Coming up on a big wet spot over here. We had a big rain last night, so everything's nice and wet. Yeah, this is almost like a dirt track. If you had a dirt bike, this could be a lot of fun, but... Um, I don't think they're gonna let you tear this up with a dirt bike out here too much. This is where people live. This is their little neighborhood back in here. Their barangay, their village. Oh, got a chicken. Chickens and goats. This is province life. here to a dirt basketball court. Check that out. I think we're going to turn around here. And we're going to head back out of here. There you go. A little, a little province life here on Bantayan Island. The local kids here with their little fireworks. Oh, baby. <laughs> Let's watch this kid do it. Fire that thing. What kind of gas do you use? Propane? Butane. Here we go, baby. Watch this kid. <laughs> <laughs> right on, that's pretty cool. One more. Don't hurt yourself now, boys. <laughs> Santa Fe, Bantayan Island. Here we go, a hot rod, baby. Look at those rubber bands on those wheels. Here we go. No trip to the Philippines is complete without going. <laughs> That'll look good on YouTube. Look at that sun. Look at the beams in the sky. I'm going to set this thing on fast motion here in just a minute.
Sunday, so there's no traffic. Remember that. On a regular work day, this is real chaos. Oh, the truck is pulling out. big trucks in here. It's Sunday so everybody's going to church. That's a great big church right over there on the corner. Here's a classic example of what James was talking about the other day about building a seawall on a road right along the waterfront property here. So you can see this is all brand new. And as you look down that way, they're building it right now. Of course, this is not a really nice beach right here like over there in that I saw in Iloilo, but nonetheless, it's the same thing. A big seawall going in to save this property here and make it more accessible but it cuts these people off from their access to the beach. Look at that old fashioned Jeep be coming on by. The city center in the town of Bantayan on Bantayan Island. Right here. Nice little shady park. Look at that church right in front of us. Today's Sunday, so everybody's at church. So that's the public market up there in the town of Bantayan, on Bantayan Island. We're staying in Santa Fe, which is much more of a kind of a touristy town. This is uh, where all the Filipinos live. Unfortunately, it is very polluted here on the water. It just is, and it's too bad. But you know, this could be such a beautiful place where we cleaned up. So this is the old part of the seawall I was just talking about. You can see the benches here and everything are just totally ruined from all the years of salt and just being beat up. And down on the other side there's where they're putting in the new seawall. So they're continuing this on down. We're going to take a walk out on that pier there, which is probably a ferry landing. Walk the plank, matey. All right, we're out on the pier here. Quite a fishing fleet here. These are ferry boats here. Row rows or pump boats heading over to other islands. It always amazes me what they can do with these motorcycles. Look at that buggy built on a, a motorcycle with a big old carcass on it. Just amazing. Got a whole truck on top of a 125 motorcycle. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's an amazing buggy. They put 15, 20 people in that thing at a time. When you turn your water faucet on, just remember this. This is how they get their water over to the islands. This is for the fresh drinking water. Yep, they load it all on these row rows, pump boats, take it over to the islands. Here you see all the supplies. They're taking over to the little sorry sorry stores and for all the places over in the little islands. Lots of chickens over here. Yeah, that must be one of the other islands right there. And we're walking back from the pier. So as we walk along, you see the puddles everywhere. 
Don't step in those puddles. I learned from Brian over there, Philly in the Philippines. You'll get stink foot. I believe him. There's a hell of a cool little business. Look at that, right out of the side of his van. Fresh bananas right off the tree. Oh, look at this, papaya. Papaya, limes, lemons, bananas. These are all organic vegetables grown organically. I'm gonna head through the little open market here. You can see how they sell stuff here in the open market. I don't see any Christmas. Oh, look at the kittens. Oh, little kittens. They pop right back out in the town square. Got the food delivery service here this morning. Coming to supply the kitchen here. They get it delivered right to their doorstep. All your fresh vegetables, your Napa cabbage, onions, tomatoes, right to your doorstep every morning. So nice. <laughs> 